I'm James Conway. Uh, I work for Maricopa County Sheriff's Office a Scientific Analysis Division. Uh, I'm a senior crime lab analyst and I've been with the office uh, eight years this month. The crime lab's purpose is to be the scientific aspect of a criminal investigation. So we deal with gathering facts and evidence and preserving crime scenes. A typical day for us is hard to describe, but typically it would consist of maybe processing evidence in the laboratory. And we process evidence in the lab for fingerprints. We use powders and chemicals, uh, and then we photograph them or lift them with tape. Uh, once we do that, maybe we would run them through the APHIS system. Hopefully we would get uh, a hit back in APHIS and then we would do a fingerprint comparison. We may have to upload photographs. We may get called out to a crime scene, which could consist of multiple things. Um, we do photographs and shoe and tire collection and any kind of processing that needs to be done, whether it's bloodstain pattern analysis or trajectory, fingerprint comparison or fingerprint processing at the scene. Some typical crime scenes that we respond to range anywhere from property crime to homicide. So we could go to burglaries, stolen vehicle recoveries, aggravated assaults, sexual assaults, homicides, and everything in between. So the length that we're at a crime scene depends on the type of crime and the evidence that's present. If we're at a property crime for a burglary, typically you're there a couple hours to where if we're at a homicide, sometimes we're there two full days. Uh, it just depends on what's, what's getting processed and what evidence is present and the severity of the crime. Typically crimes involving people take longer to process. There's more things to do. There's typically secondary scenes. Uh, for typically if we're out to a burglary, we may only have a house that was burglarized. We'll only have to process a house. If we're working a homicide, we may have victims that will have to get processed, possible suspects that have to get processed, vehicles that are involved that need processing. So homicide scenes take significantly longer and that may not be continual time. So we may work a scene for 18 or 20 hours, go home and get some sleep, and then get called out and process a car. Then maybe we process some evidence in the lab for that case, and now you have a suspect. Then you go and you process a suspect. So it just depends. For every case, it's different. The evidence actually gets left with our deputies or our detectives that are on scene. So we bring back our latent impressions that we collect, and we bring back our photographs that we collect, and all of that gets stored here at the crime lab. So typically when we're done with a scene, we bring all that stuff back here to the building, and we either upload our photos, and we store our latent uh, impressions, and then typically from that, I'll either continue to work the rest of a normal day, depending on if it's the end of my shift, or if I'm on call, I'll just leave once I drop everything off and go home. Some of the more difficult aspects of our job is the long hours and the less sleep. Work-wise, I feel like one of the more frustrating things is when you put all of the work into a case and especially when you're processing stuff in the lab, maybe you don't get the results that you were hoping that you got. Maybe you're processing something for fingerprints and when you're finished, you don't get any prints or you don't get any usable prints. Or when you're working a scene and all of the, all of the leads that everybody had are, have gone cold and there's nothing else that you could do with that case. That gets a real frustrating because you've put so much time and energy into working that scene and working that evidence that once you don't get any results, it's kind of like a letdown. So to, to get into the field to be a crime scene uh, analyst, uh, it's gonna vary for every agency. Um, for us, you need a associate's degree in some kind of science field, uh, which could be substituted out for years experience if you had it already. They want some kind of general knowledge about uh, uh, field, but uh, for other agencies it may be different. But I would say typically you're going to need some kind of science degree and some kind of maybe extra classes that you could take maybe from some kind of training. So what I enjoy most about our job is that we get to help people when they're in need. I'm like we typically don't deal with people on their best days. We get called out to scenes where 
people's house may have gotten burglarized or maybe a serious crime has been committed to them. I like that we're there to be able to help and potentially stop that from happening to someone else. And I feel like behind the scenes, a lot goes into, oh, we leave that scene and we come back here and we process that evidence. And then maybe we get a suspect. And then maybe that stops that person who committed that crime from this person for committing that crime to somebody else. I really enjoy that aspect of being able to like make a difference in everybody's lives that we help.